All right, my new counter has uh, been promoted to the workbench, so I've replaced my Hewlett Packard counter with this regular Dana counter. It's rare that I replace a Hewlett Packard instrument with something else, <laughs> but there are some things that are better than HP. Uh, a lot of times, Keithley stuff is better. Um, sometimes Textronic stuff is better, and uh, this counter is better than the one I had. So not that HP doesn't make good counters, but uh, yeah, this one's just better. So. Uh, here I'm measuring my frequency uh, count, uh, frequency uh, uh, generator over here. It's an arbitrary, and you can see it's a little bit off. Uh, I should probably go calibrate my uh, my function generator one of these days. But uh, yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, close enough for garage work. Um, so now that I've uh, replaced the uh, the frequency counter, let's let's open up my old one and take a look inside of it. We've seen we've seen inside this one, and we've seen how pretty it was inside. Now all, all the niceties in there. Uh, the size of the uh, the oven and uh, the amount of circuitry that was in it and the amount of shielding that was in it and everything. Just a lot of quality inside this thing. So uh, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at the HP instrument that I had. Uh, so the instrument that I had up there was an HP uh, 5316B. It's pretty much the same instrument, right? It uh, has a, an A and a B and a, and a, and a uh, something in the in the center, so the A channel goes up to a certain frequency range, and then the uh, C channel takes over and goes up to 1.3 gigahertz. So, um, yeah, it's very, 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 very similar. Uh, has channel A and B sensitivity levels, same as the other one. Um, has ratios. They're they're pretty much the exact same instrument. I'm kind of curious of whether they were both going after a particular. Um, uh, co contract for the for the, uh, the for the navy or something because this one has digits and it has an exponent just like the other one digits and exponent and everything. The Regal Dana actually became a military instrument. If you go look at the service manuals that are available online, that one actually has a military service manual associated with it. So maybe HP lost that contract and it was given to Regal Dana. Um, that's just a guess on my part. But anyway, uh, this is what we got on the on the front. Let's take a look at the back. And uh, on the back, it's very, very simple. Um, now, the, one of the nice things about the Rakel is uh, uh, this connector allows you to bring in external 10 megahertz, so that my rubidium standard used to go into this connector. But you had to flip a switch. You had to say that you were on external, external reference, and you flip the switch, you go to the internal reference. Um, the Rakel Dana is automatic. If it sees something, uh, on this connector, it says, "Oh, we should use that one instead," and automatically, automatically switches it. Uh, GPIB as well, HPIB. Um, it has some options. I don't think these options are. I've never looked them up. This one has option zero zero three. I uh, don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, let's pop it open and take a look inside. All right, I've got some Torx. Torx screws in the back. It it disassembles the exact same way as well. It's got a little. Thing on the back. Um, this one I think has an extra screw in it though. So, yeah, it has another. You would think that that would be the same tool. Maybe maybe that screw got lost and they re somebody else replaced it. But it's replaced with a uh, it's replaced with a Phillips. So I bet you that's what happened. Probably somebody lost the screw and just replaced it. It should, should be the same tool that uh, that opens that up. All right, let's slide this off. One big giant PC board. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the size of that board. Wow. Uh, that board is 15 inches by 7 inches. Yeah, that's a big PC board. That's an expensive PC board. But a single board. Let's flip it over. And, ooh, not a lot inside. Let me rearrange the camera here. All right, so the first thing I notice is a simplistic design, right? There's not much going on in here. There's not a lot of components. There's no shielding that I see of. Uh, there's a big open po uh, power supply over here. Um, there's, a, there's no uh, oven. Okay, that's the oscillator there. There's no oven. Now it looks like there might be some mounting holes and stuff here. Maybe there is an oven option. There's a connector down here. So I'm assuming there probably was an oven option for this. Probably not as nice as the regular one though, even if it had the option in it. 
um, but it does have a connector. Probably, definitely, probably has an option available for a, for an oven. Um, I have replaced other. I have other uh, HP counters that I've had in the past, and I've replaced the uh, oscillator with an oven. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get a, let's get a little bit closer. We rearrange things again. We'll get a little bit closer and kind of take a look at what this thing has inside. Okay, we've got some two big capacitors here. Here are the drivers for the HPIB. Like I said, this is the oscillator. There's a, a coarse and a fine adjustment for the oscillator. Um, maybe, maybe another one here. Maybe there's three different adjustments for the oscillator. Um, this is, uh, let's see, down over here is a 68, oh, my, uh, 68488, so this is the uh, HPIB controller chip. Uh, this is an, probably a micro, I would guess. M5890, no, I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, pretty simple little power supply thing over here. Not much going on here, it looks like really the counter really is just these two chips here. And this might actually be the one that controls the front panel. So it might be just kind of all in this one chip here. Um, we have the, the board here that does the uh, 1.3 gigahertz probably. There's a two stacks of boards here. Um, but no shielding anywhere. Um, and uh, and a very, 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 very simple... Uh, very, very simple design. So, I'm not sure what the price points of the two instruments were, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, a proud owner of a uh, of the Rakel Dana now, and I have a lot more pre appreciation for it. Um, now, it didn't really hold me back because I was using an external rubidium standard for this thing, so this little, uh, this little oscillator down here didn't really matter for, for what I was using it for. But, um, yeah, anyway, I thought that was interesting, and uh, I'll probably sell this thing. Uh, I don't really see a use for it any longer, so watch for it on eBay. <laughs>